gentlemen, it is my honor to yell out to you once again on a Friday morning. It's game day! Oh, yes, welcome, you bet welcome, it is. Welcome. Now, they say the best thing about February is that it is the shortest month. Mm. In fact, the Welsh, they uh, call February Yishbach, which means little month. Okay. And in no time, it's going to be paid again, and I bet Mike... He's very excited about that yes, one. Yes, sir. Uh-uh. Yes, sir. Didn't I say he was going to say that? I said I he was going to say exactly that. Your you put your put aside me on top of me. How are you guys doing? Good morning. It's great to be on Friday morning. It's so good. Good morning, good morning Mike. Mike. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, now that's the kind of excitement we're looking forward to this payday. But uh, you deserve the very best when Absolutely. it comes to your morning routine. And we're glad that you've chosen us to steer you in the right direction right off the bat. Yes, indeed. Steer it, rock it, make it work, bring it back again next mm-hmm. week. Press repeat. This is our duty every single morning here. We are your number one breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria. Yes, so we are walking into the weekend of love. Mm -hmm. Let us be the first to wish you happy Valentine's Day in advance. And uh, hopefully you'll get in as much love this weekend as possible. I don't know, love, it's, it's, it's such a commercial word. Yeah. You know? <laughs> commercial. It's not real anymore. Expensive, you I mean. don't know. Stay tuned if you want to know exactly how I feel going into this commercial weekend. That's mm-hmm. what I call it. Send us a post, send us a tweet. Use our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. How do you feel about the word love? Yes, indeed. We're setting the tone for you here right now on Wake Up Nigeria. My name is Tita Laya. And of course, my name is Mazino Appeal. Stream the show live at TVC Entertainment, the TV, and on Facebook at TVC Connect. You can also send in your comments across all our social media pages. Just hit us up at TVC Connect. Or alternatively, download our app and watch yep. us directly from there as well. You can download on both Android and iOS Store. Mm-hmm. Now, it's all you need to keep connected to us mm. every single time. So, let's tell them what's happening today yes, on the so show, shall we? The one and only Super Mike, who's <laughs> been hanging out in the kitchen. He's going to be joined shortly by a guest. And biggest day in the year for love is literally a few days away. And we know that some people naturally struggle with gifting things to their partners. We've come up with a short video that'll definitely help put you in the right direction, even on a low budget. Um, by the way, you look very good today with that oh, red jacket. Thank I think you. you're trying to channel oh some gosh, love yes. in today's show. Touch yeah. of red. Some <laughs> thriller. Like touch of red. <laughs> some thriller. Michael Jackson vibes. Welcome. And as we go into the weekend of love, well, let's first of all bring you the news, shall we? And we begin this hour in Abuja, where the federal government is appealing to those planning the fresh protests at the Lekki toll gate to lay aside their plans as no violent protests will be tolerated this time. The Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, disclosed this earlier yesterday in Abuja. Mr. Mohammed said every Nigerian has the freedom to protest, but violence in the name of protest will not be condoned. The minister said there are high chances that the protest, which is scheduled to take place on Saturday at the toll gate, will be hijacked by some hoodlums. He warned that government is watching the roles being played by social media platforms on the planned protest and that security agencies have been placed on red alert to stop any violence. The warning is coming barely six months after Nigeria experienced one protest uh, that has been adjudged as the worst in recent time. TVC News senior correspondent Evie Kanu has more. This was the day a protest which began as a noble cause was turned on its head. On that day, soldiers invaded the Lekki toll gate that became the epicenter of the protest. The consequences left agony in the heart of many and a huge burden on government and her agencies to wash away the guilt of extreme brutality. Four months and four weeks after the rich, the poor, the privileged and the rest of humanity are struggling to overcome the unimaginable setback the protest left behind. Even security agencies are still dealing with the huge loss of main and materials. Part of government's response to bringing justice to those affected was the setting up of the panel of inquiry across the country. Then, on Saturday, the proceedings in Lagos seems to be opening another can of worm. Now, rival groups are poised to return to Lekki Toll Gate. Rights activist and senior advocate of Nigeria, Ebun Olu Adeborowa, has called for calm, stressing that the panel is yet to make final pronouncements. The federal government has... The Lekki Concession Company has appealed to well-meaning Nigerians to halt its planned protest at the Lekki toll gate scheduled to take place on the 13th of February 2021. 
Some youth have uh, or had earlier threatened to hold a protest uh, at the toll gate following plans to reopen it for operations in respect to an order given by the Lagos Judicial Panel of Inquiry. Speaking to journalists earlier yesterday, the managing director of the LCC, Mr. Yomi Omomuwasa, notes the reopening of the toll gate will enable it build the burnt facility before the commencement of operations in order to continue to fulfill its um, a loan repayments and other financial obligations. Mr. Omomuasa added uh, that a repeater of the disruption will further attack or rather attract uh, job loss to the over 500 staff and an accrued loss of assets totaling billions of naira. And the Nigerian Governors Forum say it has reached a consensus on the need for the country to transit into modern systems of uh, animal husbandry and will replace open um, open night and underage, uh, underage grazing in the country, pardon me. Now, this was contained in a communique issued at the end of the 25th virtual meeting and signed by Forum Chairman Kaede Faimi. The governors maintained that they were encouraged to put in place systems to accelerate the grazing initiative of the National Livestock Transformation Plan and ranching in the country. The consensus was reached to address the rising insecurity in the country, which has been linked to armed herdsmen operating as bandits. We continue with the invitation of the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefiele, by the Senate to brief its committee on the opportunities and threats of cryptocurrency and the nation's economy. The decision of the Senate to invite the CBN governor is sequel to a motion by a federal lawmaker, Senator Itstifanu Giang during plenary on Thursday on the CBN's uh, directive to stop financial institutions from transactions in cryptocurrency and matters arising from them. And that's it for the news. We move on now to Daily Vulnerables. That will set the country back. I remember telling a friend of mine that I want, whenever people are talking about young people in Nigeria, I want my name to be, I want people to think about me when it came to the youth audience or the youth market. But I didn't set any goals for myself, I didn't set any financial goals for myself, I didn't set anything. And I think by the time I turned 30, I was doing quite alright, economically well, relationships wise, all of that. And so when I see people stressing out about, so I see people stressing out about, I don't have goals for my life, I need to set goals, I think to myself, it's fine to set goals. But it's again the illusion that there is one particular way to succeed in the world. And that because somebody else talks about goals, everybody must talk about goals. Or the idea that because um, you're, somebody you know succeeded by setting goals for themselves, that's the only way you succeed as well. It's a fallacy. It's a fallacy because it, it occurred to me when I saw one of my mentees just struggling with the idea that he doesn't have goals. And I said, but you're working hard. He said, yes. And you're talented. He said, yes. And you're trying to do your best every day. He said, yes. And I said, so... It's fine if you have goals, but why are you beating up yourself for something that really isn't a necessity? I think that for many of, many of us fall into that trap of thinking there is a way that we have to do it. And if we don't do it in that way, we are going to fail completely. And the only justification we have for thinking this is because we've seen other people doing the same thing. Again, your life is yours. You can't live it based on how another person lived theirs or based on how other people expect you to live your life. You should live it based on what you think is best for you, knowing all you know about your own situation. And you're welcome. Let's do the dailies now, shall we? It's a Friday. Looking forward to the weekend, aren't you? Because it's the loved one. But first, we have to get through the papers. And February 12th, that's today. Let's tell you what the papers have in store for you on the front pages. The Guardian newspaper is where we start with this headline. Wale Shoinka decries cattle imperialism, confirms attack. Berates Ogun police for lying over a herdsman invasion. Autumn writes Buhari says uh, a demand for justice, not anti fulani Requests compensation for victims, say Nigerians should bear arms for self-defense. And um, a look at the photo story is of the late Latif Jakande. And there was plenty of talk and news about him uh, yesterday. And 
to the side of that grief tributes as Jackande dies at 91. Uh, Buhari, Samolu, and Pan, YCE, others mourn. Jackande was a uh, peerless uh, architect of modern Lagos, say sympathizers. And this is true as many of the edifice that we have around Lagos are um, attributed to him. Him. At the very top, NSARS, Lagos reminds protesters of others' uh, rights, and Senate charges AGF to probe alleged fraud in SWV expenditure. That's as much as we can take for the Guardian newspaper. Now we move on real quick to the Punch newspaper for this morning. And big story here, Lucky Tollgate FG Lagos police talk tough as organizers' vow protests will hold. We won't allow Lekki Tollgate reopening its bloody money, say the organizers, and we will not allow state to be, pu to be pushed to carnage, uh, carnage edge again, say Lagos. The photo story here shows members of uh, Panama National uh, Border Service assisting migrants cross the uh, Chikungnake River uh, at a camp after the migrants have trekked for five days in the Darien Gap. At the very bottom of the punch newspaper, Buhari, our passenger governors, uh, others mourn as Jack and dies at 91, and Pastor, 72, arrested for defiling 13-year-old girl, self-styled lawyer, impregnates teenager. Plenty of these stories in the news and very sad, however. Schools, hospitals shut as herdsmen attack Ogun communities and kill two. That one, too. Let's move real quick to the Daily Sun for a Friday. Anxiety, tension over Occupy Lekki Tollgate protest in Lagos will not tolerate any protest, says the federal government. And Lagos CP wants protesters, insists protests planned by uh, subversive elements. The photo story shows late Jackande's son, Shei, at second to the left with his mother, Al-Haja Al um, Shikirat, um, flanked by family members who came to sympathize with them over the demise of former Lagos state governor. And at the bottom, no going back on Southeast Joint Security, vows Gen, uh, General Umahi. And at the very top of the Daily Sun, Buhari, Governors Kalu, PDP, APC, others pay tribute as ex-Lagos Governor Jack and dies at 91. That's as much as we can take this morning for the dailies. I'm sure you will have the opportunity to um, find some of these as you go about your day today and maybe also... Um, tweet about some of the stories. You want to use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. There's plenty of distractions oh, at the other side. Isn't quite there? a lot happening. <laughs> it's like life. You need to focus. <laughs> you need to focus. Yeah. yeah. What were you focusing on just now? I rem okay, so Brian, Brian Tracy wrote this book, um, yeah. 100 Unbreakable Laws of Business. I don't know if you've ever seen that. I've title. heard of it, I've yeah. never read it. Okay, but, I, but it's, it's, it's an aberration. Mm. Okay. How did he know the laws are unbreakable? How did you know? Mm. If he you didn't them, break them. He, if you yeah. break them, exactly. So you see this thing about focus, you need, we, distraction is part of life. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how did we get here? Who is distracting you? Yeah. Ah, yeah, so. Someone is behind Why? the camera and really distracted, but it's but okay. Hey, we love yeah. you all the same. Okay, so today <laughs> we, 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 we always get to talk about social media. I know how much Mazino wants to let you know that social media can be mm. a vice. Mm. But for me, social media is just black. It's just mm. there. It is like a mirror. Mm. You know, what you put on it is what comes out. It's yeah. like a medium, nothing mm. about it, yeah? So, um, mm. uh, I think it's Israel, Israel mm. of uh, DMW. That's Probably, David Music. Yeah, he, mm. he apologized after Copy's lawyers uh, sent, uh, threatened to sue. Okay, this Shepard is the same guy that was talking about yeah, Copy said, or yes. Zlatan not making Zlatan, any money who said from that Copy the, the... didn't pay Zlatan, yeah. didn't uh, pay for even his hotel bills yeah. and feeding. And the whole internet went after copy. I'm like, oh, you're a billionaire's daughter. Mm -hmm. How? Why don't you do all of this? So, so I, initially when that story came out, I, mm. I just, I kind of, you know, smelt a rat because really, mm. you know, the, the billionaires, that's the, the least on her mind. She wouldn't even have to be involved in that whole process herself. We'll probably be her people. That yeah, but you know, you know, she was the one that started. She said, okay, mm -hmm. Zlatan blocked me. Zlatan never mentioned anything about yeah. it. So that's why everybody felt like, okay, mm. maybe this Zlatan guy has something because he didn't mention it. Yeah. Copy just comes out like, ah, oh, Zlatan has blocked me for so long mm. and all of that and you know and then we're like uh, why this last why did why you know so him so the coming point out is, to apologize the point is yes yeah. I, 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 I was too I was so embarrassed when I'm not, I saw the video I've not listened to it mm. because you know but it brings us to the, that thing public jury and all of that mm. yeah yeah why uh, why you bring out information and you talk about something I'm as confirmed. an authority mm. and it's not even confirmed mm. yeah. like man mm. and you know I, I, I think she handled it quite in the best because look it's not easy being a rich kid mm. and all the vitriol coming against you copy yeah. someone let me, let me that's... piggyback on that Michael yeah. you said you think she handled it very well yeah, I think both parties time. actually handled it very well yeah. and I'll okay. tell you why yeah. it wasn't 
either of them that was making the noise about it. It was yeah, either their fans else. or people yeah. who had their back and stuff like that. They mm. were very, very respectable of each other. Mm. Zlatan has never come out to tell what it might be and mm. in no way has he uh, insulted the mm. person of Copy in mm. any way. Anyway. He has remained numb about it, yeah. not saying anything. Mm -hmm. Copy, on the other hand, has also not said much about mm -hmm. it except mm -hmm. when she had to defend her personality yeah. because of Shay's of comments about you know, her not paying. Mm -hmm. But I have a new level of respect for Zlatan. I'm not a big fan of, of mm. his, mm. but the way he's tackled this whole thing, not mm. getting into the mud into with everybody, the, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. not saying, ah, it's like, it's like that, or trying to veer to one side, to one of, side the of the other. argument. He's just remained, mm. No, no, no. Just yeah. mom, yeah. I just shot blocker. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> you know, but I, I, you know, I, you know, the letter came out, and I think the next day, maybe that same day, Baba had already, like, do you, yeah. do you know how fast dropped, yeah. copies lawyers are? Uh, <laughs> I'm like, ah, please, we'll go and beg he, them. He probably, his people will probably go and say, oh, you'll go and beg but them. That, that we'll must be very embarrassing. That. Very yeah. embarrassing. That's exactly what I wanted to say. Um, like, it's, I, I've not, I I've think not, it's humbling. I think it's mature. Yeah. Okay. Yes, because yeah. I think it is mature and I think it's humbling. He's humble enough to actually, you know, like actually come out and apply. So what I think, was that I humility? When I don't understand. So oh, yeah, guys, no, it's not humility, Jody. No. If he didn't have it before. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> they, they needed to flog he it out of him. He didn't, he didn't have to say anything, but he, with the way he put it down, because mm. of what was happening, mm. he, the, the, the tweet or the, the, the post he made had so much mileage. Mm. It went down, like, oh, oh, so this is the reason. Oh, copy, so, copy. Mm. We knew there was something. There's always, everyone wants to play a reason it also doesn't help that Nigeria yeah. is not such a litigious society where you should be careful what you say, what especially you say? when you're putting it out for mass media. Of course. So people I mean. just have this, you know, I'm, I'm just going to yeah. say anything I want, and even if, you know, just to get clout or, or followership. And as they so always this say, would set like a precedent yeah. uh, from yeah. now on. Hopefully. We okay. should be careful. I mean, Don't look at say Cara. rubbish. Cara of Star Wars, mm -hmm. who plays Dune yeah. um, in uh, Mandalorian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's been fired. Wow. For putting up a post that likened Republicans to Jews. Oh. <gasps> Like, do you oh, understand? She's always had controversial posts. And mm. the quite interesting thing is that uh, mm. Star, uh, Lucasfilm, yeah. as it were, was like, Lucas. Madam, calm down. The way mm. you're going about this thing, you're mm. a public figure. Mm. You can discuss these things internationally, but these things are very, very touchy topics. Very, Be very careful what you put out there. And, and the actual, and, you know, before now, Lucasfilms was working on a spin off mm. with her mm -hmm. character. So she was going to be so the now lead it's not going to of her again. own series. It's not going to happen, or oh, wow. somebody is to be recast, mm. Mm. and somebody else would do it. And she's such a wonderful, I mean, action cat. You know, mm. she has the yeah. look, she mm. has that. I've, I mean, from the days of Hey Why, I've always liked like her. her. She I has that look so. and all of that. But just because of the tweet she made mm. and all of that. So, yes, yeah. we put up stuff there. But you're, you're that is so much responsibility to handle as people, you and I, mm. uh, who are in Especially the public eye. Especially if you, you know. you've ever lived in a glass house. Yeah. Yeah. Throwing you stones. Yeah, exactly. It's not so, the best yeah. thing. So I, yeah. You know, I go yeah. back and I, I know Facebook does this... Um, mm. Memories. Yeah. So when they bring back stuff of Ted, you know, have you seen some of the things that you you wrote ten years ago? <laughs> I used to have this very annoying weird way of writing. Oh. Capital and small letters at the uh -huh. same time, oh. and then this annoying shorthand. Oh. Yeah. So imagine capital and small letters, and yeah. then shorter. So it, it was intentionally set out to annoy somebody. So I, like, oh. I, I've seen. Some I read of those that. I read it, and I was like, I was annoyed. I've seen some mm. of my memories as well on mm. Facebook, especially, and mm. I, I, I don't like that guy sometimes. I'm wow. like, Mazino, this could not have been you. You didn't say this. Did yeah, you? I've tried you've to delete. Go, I, I delete them. If I don't like them, I delete them. Yeah, I, but you. I think at some point evolved. in my life, I was a bit narcissistic. Yeah, uh -oh. <laughs> I was. Really? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm I have to enter that stage this year. Twenty. 2021, right. the what, year narcissism? of a narcissist. Uh, no. Of narcissist. It wouldn't look good on you. Uh, we, we like you the way you are, Mike. Uh, no, no, no. We like we you don't, as a we don't, we, we've, been, <laughs> we've, been, we've been modest at times. It's we too late to do that. I mean, with the way the world is going mm. right now, with everything that's happening, you mm. cannot afford to be a narcissist. Mm. You need everybody else. You need to acknowledge people. You need to be... Um, you need to have everybody's back. <laughs> Just there, see, narcissus, the main problem was, he so was my, his my obsession with himself. Is, Let's get obsessed with ourselves muting, a little bit. Muting yourself and not, you know, expressing yourself mm -hmm. um, is, is also a very delicate thing. There are some things you had to get off your chest back then uh -huh. that you did that but probably affected you. It was you. a phase which yeah? I had to go through. Mm -hmm. You know, it kind of like built me, especially professionally. Okay. So I don't regret it Aha! too much, but exactly. I'm like, it was annoying. And at that time, if I had known me, I'd be like, who is this guy? Benny. Who is this guy? But that shows, that shows, that feeling, that shows growth. Yeah, I mean, does. if you don't look back and feel like, oh, man, yeah. was I just stupid? Mm. Maybe you've not grown. Mm. True. 
you know, it, it, and it, might, it might not be that that stage was bad. That stage is probably someone's stage now. Mm. It's where someone yeah, is exactly. now, but it just shows that, okay, so I, there's this level of enlightenment, mm. there's this level of growth, you know, growth yeah. mm -hmm. that is now uh, where I am. Yeah. Tell you guys what. Hopefully um, you're not making some posts you're gonna regret. Yeah, don't later don't on. do it. Don't just see whatever whatever angry tweet or angry reply you're texting just right now. Just delete it and write okay. No, we are putting we need you for the uh, <laughs> so that means that needs to be sweet. We Let's go break. We'll be back. Wake up Nigeria. And welcome to the kitchen. Welcome to the kitchen. That's me. Eh? Okay. Eh? We're okay. in the kitchen with Ella this morning. Yeah, and it's are. Friday. And I'm seeing colors. Lots and of color. Meat and seafood and everything yes. that makes me smile yeah welcome to the show thank you all thank right thank you so much for having it's your me first time coming first time ever on television Are i'm you actually serious? very very nervous but you're making me feel so good thank ah, you and you look amazing thank you thank you so much for yeah. making it yeah all right so you need to tell us what we're making today what we're making is a recreation of mine i call it um stir fried potatoes okay because it's something i had to be ingenious mm. i have 16 nephews and nieces 16 yes, that come over for Goodness. sunday mm -hmm. at auntie ella's all the time mm -hmm. and this was a way to get them to take their vegetables okay. without knowing that they were taking so many vegetables you know what I am liking you already. <laughs> Let me see. So I, the vegetables we have here. We have. Let's do an yeah. exchange right here. These are the proteins. Okay. And these are your the vegetables. Veggies. Beautiful. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It, like 12 types of vegetables Amazing. going into this meal. Mm. But it's going to come out in the way that kids love. It like it was an instant hit with my family. And it's been a back-to-back -back hit. Amazing. <laughs> So um, there must be a lot of work we're going to do with these vegetables. Yes. Have you done anything to the potatoes yet? Just peeled. I'm still going to dice them. Okay. Yeah. So we need to get to work on some on the of these dicing, things. Yeah. So um, are you dicing it in a special way? Is there um, anything unique about the dicing Usually because style? with children, you have to be a step yeah. ahead of them. Sorry about mm -hmm. that. Go ahead. Um, there's always a little bit of creativity and flexibility. Mm -hmm. So some days I do it in wedges. Other days today I'm going to do it in cubes. Cubes, yeah. Beautiful. But you can wedge them, mm -hmm. you can strip them, mm -hmm. you can even julienne them, okay. depending on what your fancy is for that day. All right. And then the vegetables are going to go in a pan. All right. We're Let me get the pan for you. I would appreciate that. Flat so pan going, or deep pan? We're frying, so a deep okay. pan may be better right. if we could. Fantastic. Thank you. So um, we're using oil, I believe? Yes. I'll I get usually. This other pan too. I prefer um, to use canola oil but okay. today i'm using vegetable oil okay for Fantastic. the mix okay aha let me put this on for you thank you okay thank so you. um the vegetables yeah are you dicing them all in the same shape or yes i try to if i'm going wedges i try to go wedges all the way if i'm going cubes i try to go cubes all the way so that you have different things okay. color popping out in different um amazing areas like that all right so I feel like you are very at home in this kitchen I'm already. Trying to be. You're trying to be? <laughs> you look like you know your way around already. Oh, uh, kitchen is one of my favorite places to be. Aww. So, a kitchen on any set, even though the world is watching, is still a good place to be. Auntie Ella is cooking. Auntie yes, she Ella is. is cooking. It's not easy being the favorite auntie in the family. I have nine siblings to com compete with. Ah, so, ah, nine. I, have keep, I have to keep my game up. This is your family, eh? As in. So, you're used to cooking for large. I've been cooking all my life. Mm. Mm. Grew up in a very large family mm. with 10 children, you know that. So okay. there's always been a pot of something or the other. Could we do something with these veggies? What are you doing with the, the peppers, for instance? The peppers, I'm still going to do keep consistent and okay. doing the same. We're cubing. Cubing. Then. Okay. You want to be a sous chef? Hmm. Say it again. You want to be a sous chef? Um, so I am actually your, supposed to be your sous chef really? today, but I think Auntie Ella has this on lockdown. <laughs> I feel like Auntie Ella is going to smack my hand if I touch something. Auntie Ella is adept at hand smacking. <laughs> very, very we, good. Like it's that kind of, have you washed your hand? Don't okay. touch it. Don't touch it. Drop my meat. <laughs> that kind of hand smacking. I did notice you have, I believe those are mint leaves. Mint leaves, yes. Um, I, I believe the menu should be on the screen soon enough. The ingredients. Um, with all the ingredients that are yep. right here. Um, but we have, let's go over them. Now we have mint leaf, yeah. we have onions. onions, we have spring onions yeah. and carrots. Okay. And then here we have sausages, just and, to give, um, and um, shrimps. Shrimps? Yeah. We have red, green, and, and yellow, yellow bell, bell peppers. peppers. We have meat, which beef. Going to beef already boiled. Okay. But we're going to fry and chop, or chop and fry. 
All right. Yeah. What are we doing right now? Here we're doing uh, frying our sausages. Okay. We want to make sure that everything is hot, crispy, okay. so that you get a little bit of crisp, you get a little bit of sweet, you get a little bit of savory All right. in the meal Fantastic. as you're taking a bite. Okay, yeah. so um, what's the name of your kitchen? Um, I actually cook for a non-profit, okay. I said non-profit foundation called Feed the Children Lagos. Okay. And our aim is to cater for children, in, Indian children or less privileged children, okay. by making sure they have one steady meal at least every day. So we run amazing. it through schools in places um, like Ajagunle, like Mushing, where we know that what Aww. we're doing will be appreciated. I think that's amazing. Yeah. I think that's amazing. Yeah. So your heart is in this? My heart is pick children, cooking Honestly. and empowerment. Mm -hmm. So Feed the Children gives me all three things on a platter. Honestly, <laughs> where are your children to be? <laughs> you will feed us. Exactly. <laughs> Mike is going to be one of your favorite kids. Uh, He's My going to be. He's going to be in the kitchen because there's beef here. Yeah, there's, there's beef, shrimps there's here. Shrimps, there's sausage sausages. here. Sausages. Uh -uh, all Mike's favorite things. <laughs> We're putting it together. <laughs> well, uh, I'm glad to see that this is frying yeah. steady. Yeah. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to take too long. No. But then what goes in immediately after that? Once we're done with that, it's just going to be, everything is a stir fry. Okay. So your vegetables, I have a sister who would kill me if I overcook vegetables. <laughs> okay, it's okay, a carnal okay. rule. Okay. So um, it's just to prepare the stir fry and we do the whole mixing. All Next right. thing that I will fry do would be the beef. The beef. Yeah. The beef. Would be the last fried agent. Beautiful. <laughs> so here you have it. Yeah. Uh, we're making stir-fried potatoes yes, with are. loads of goodies inside. It is Wake Up Nigeria and we're having fun in the kitchen. We're having fun throughout Lots the show. Fun. She's such great fun. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? It's game day, people, so you need to make sure you stay tuned. There's so much more still coming your way yeah. right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Alrighty. And it's here. The final hour on Fridays is often the most looked forward to hour of Wake Up Nigeria. Yeah. And that is a fact. Yes, sir. You bet. That hour that culminates the efforts of everyone in front and, of course, behind the cameras right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Yes, indeed. Mm. Of course, hey, we never get to say thank you enough to uh, all of you guys behind the camera and everybody, yeah. our able crew and yeah. producers. Thank you very much. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they're a bit distracted now because I'm praising them. They don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know that they need to continue. Thank you very much, Mr. Jean-Luc. Uh, let's just use this opportunity to say thank you and that we love you, especially that this is the month of love and everybody's Aww. kind of loving you. But, uh, hey. Why we, are you we, sucking up to the boss today? We can't send you guys money. We wish we could. What's happening? I'm loving up. It's, okay. Isn't that the... the it's, it's okay. It's, it's fine. It's, yeah. fine. it's <laughs> usually me that does that, but I don't know. It's good look on you. Feel free. You can do it. Yeah. But, but anyhow, hey, thank mm -hmm. you. And, of course, you guys who make it a day for us because mm. you're out there watching. Thank you very much as yes, well. Sir. We appreciate yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. And, of course, there are the games yes. today. Game day. And guess what? I'm the umpire today, so y'all better watch out. I knew you were going to milk that. <laughs> Before. I, I was in a while. Well, so it's been our habit in recent Fridays, mm -hmm. um, so uh, we want to make sure that we still get our butt pumping, and that's <laughs> why we have a very energetic game planned out for you today. It's uh, a reprise of one of our former games. Yeah. Shake it off. I think it was shake you it and MM the last time. Shake There's a little twist it, today, so you guys shake are good. Yeah. <laughs> I just had to shake now it Now you know what I see every morning. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> It's all good. So you guys, stay tuned. Make sure you participate by using the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. If you want to uh, leave a comment on there, mm -hmm. you are going to love it, especially with mm -hmm. our last guest on. Now, remember, you can always stream the show live on TVC Entertainment.tv. Tell a friend to tell a friend that you can also watch us on Facebook at TVC Connect. Yes. My name is Titilaya Oyinson. My name is Mazino Appeal, and make sure you download an Apple or iOS store. Mm. Yes. All right, so mm. what's happening today? Well, let's let you guys yeah. in on it. Mm. It is going to be... Well, it's the biggest day in the year for lovers, um, and it's literally a few days, two days away. Mm -hmm. And we know that some people naturally struggle with gifting things to their partners. So we have a short video coming up that will definitely put you in the right direction, even on a low budget. I actually think we should say especially on a low budget. No one wants to spend too much money these days. And of course, music always makes things better. We'll be bringing you a performance from Verve, a dance hall singer, songwriter, and composer from Sapele Delta yeah, State. All right, so as we move yeah. into this weekend, uh, mm -hmm. where is your girlfriend, by the way? Um, <laughs> we have to go for fact finding. <laughs> oh, yes. After we find facts, you can ask me that question. We're trying to find the facts now about, you know, Let's check the facts. 
love, love, it's the season of love. Valentine's Day only comes around once a year and it's the perfect opportunity to let your partner know just how much they mean to you. Picking out a cute Valentine's gift is one simple way to show your partner how you feel and it helps rekindle some of the romance that gets a little lost in everyday life. Of course, presents aren't everything. Simply taking time to be together, whether it's in person or over the phone, is already a great way of strengthening your relationship. But a gift is a welcome surprise that will certainly show your appreciation. Here are some tips to help you celebrate your partner on Valentine's Day. There are many options available when it comes to choosing the perfect Valentine's gift. But the goal is to buy something that shows how much you care about your spouse. Men, it might be easy to buy flowers, teddy bears and chocolate, but it is important to consider her personality, something special and what she will like. This will help to ensure you get the perfect gift that is not boring, not predictable and really comes from the heart. Another thing you must consider is your budget. You really don't have to break the bank to please your partner. There are portable and affordable gifts you can buy for her. Perfumes. You can never go wrong with perfumes and ladies, every woman loves to smell nice and will definitely appreciate it as a Valentine gift. Just make sure you get a nice fragrance she will love and you can choose to merge it with a box of chocolates. Lingeries. If she's always wearing baggy tees to sleep or she loves lingeries, this is a Valentine's Day gift for her. Besides, lingeries can never be too much for women. Wears, dresses, shoes, bags are also good gift ideas for Valentine. Just be sure of her size and taste in fashion. You might also want to consider her favorite colors. Picture frame or customized pillows. This is also a unique and affordable gift you might want to consider. A customized pillow with her picture on it is also not a bad idea. Jewelries or accessories, earrings, necklaces, bracelets, sunglasses, silk scarves and belts are great options to gift your spouse on Valentine's Day. You can never go wrong with such gifts. Food, yes, if your spouse is a foodie, loves junk food or chocolates, you might want to consider getting a food tray, a box of chocolates or candies, and maybe a bottle of wine to complement it. If you have a large budget and you want to go all out to wow your partner, here are some luxurious gifts you might want to consider. Fresh flowers. It is very romantic to gift your woman a bouquet of fresh flowers, but be sure she'll love and appreciate it. Teddy bears. Gifting her with a teddy bear, red especially, because it's Valentine's Day, will definitely make her feel loved and special. Well, it depends on if she loves teddy bears. Phones or gadgets. Valentine's Day is an opportunity to change her gadgets. With the constant advancement in technology, phones have become our new best friends. Bone straight. It's the current trend for women and most ladies love bone straight. So if your woman is updated with fashion trends, getting her a bone straight hair is not a bad idea. Cars. This might just be the best season to gift her with a car or change her car if it's due for change. You are definitely going to wow her with this one. Gift box or balloons. This has a way of thrilling ladies when you give them with a box of gifts with different combo like perfumes, chocolate, wears, and other girly things. Presenting it with a bouquet of balloons is so luxury. Men, how about kicking her off her feet by making breakfast and serving her in bed? You can also order her favorite meal from a nice restaurant for lunch. Doing movies together in your living room with a pack of popcorn and drink is also not a bad idea. Ladies, how about setting a romantic candlelight dinner for two? With a three to five course meal, ensure you make his favorite meal. Write love notes to tell your partner how much you love and appreciate him or her will be amazing. Now you are good to go for Valentine's celebration, so go ahead and show some love to that special one. Trust me, we're having quite the show behind the show, but hey, 
Let's check some music now. Music makes everything better, doesn't it? And set the tone for the weekend, which is going to be a very good one. We have a great performance today. His name is Verve, dance hall singer, songwriter, and composer from Sapele in Delta State. So, Verve, how you doing, man? I'm fine, I'm fine. All right, great, man. So, hey, I was asking earlier what kind of music you do. How, where would you position it? Uh, position it? Yeah, I do dancehall. I'm a dancehall artist. Dancehall. Nice. Well, hey, tell you what, we can't wait to see your performance, so why don't you just already take it away? Okay. Yeah, man. Then. Buzz, man. Buzz. Ja, no best. I live my life, me, I need no stress. My body, I pick, I beg, no best. I wanna make money first, cause my mind, no rest. Ah, yeah, I know it's best. I live my life, me, I need no stress. Papa, do you pick a bag? No, best. I wanna make money first, cause my mind no rest. Ah, you know, get money, not be somebody, no shoddy wanna come, but nobody want be leaving you, nobody wanna receive you, nobody wanna trust in you. I don't trust myself, I trust my mama. Because I pray I keep me going, she can catch me when I'm falling. I think I mean my money, more this way to your team, many good. For many prayers, me find out you look that you can't. You go think, see, see, me, I did you, but I know it's best. I live my life, me, I need no stress. My body, I pick, I beg, no best. I wanna make money first, cause my mind, no rest. Ah, yeah, I know it's best. I live my life, me, I need no stress. My body, I pick, I beg, no best. I wanna make money first, cause my mind, no rest. Ah, we wanna make money, make fame somewhere we meet again. We know, say, life not be the same. But some things I can't resist. Make it with cause I insist. I don't matter what them I say, me I hustle for my pay And I need no more delay, but it's sweet, you know they play Every day me grind and pray, they don't trust us, we can see But they think we playing games, they don't want to hear our names They might wonder why we came, came from the struggle Man I feel the pain, come back down now, sacrifice are not in vain I don't want to run to, I don't know where to go to I don't want to move to, I don't want to go to All I know, no all I know, God yeah, knows it's best. I live my life, me, I need no stress. My body, I pick, I beg, no best. I wanna make money first, cause my mind, no rest. Ah, God yeah, knows it's best. I live my life, me, I need no stress. My body, I pick, I beg, no best. I wanna make money first, cause my mind, no rest. Uh, I got like 200 in the I wanna buy weed. I can I share my dreams with. Smoke with them, blow chips with, chips with. Yeah, smoke with them, blow chips with, chips with. Uh, you know they are watching to live schools, but you got to live book. Cause me, I'm them bro. I have no time for a joke. Uh, me went to school, cause my mama said it's good. But the teachers there, them are always cause us fools. That's why I take this step that I really took. I have no time to look. So I smoke it with young girls. I know my world, they must see. When I was struggling, no, you never came. Ah, uh, I wanna make money first, cause my mind no rest. I'm not desperate for sex. Only when you call me, so I feel really from stress. I just wanna know, cause I want flex. Yeah, I know it's best. I live my life, me, I need no stress. My body, I pick, I beg, no best. I wanna make money first, cause my mind no rest. Ah, uh, yeah, I know it's best. I live my life, me, I need no stress. My body, I pick, I beg, no best. I wanna make money first, cause my mind no rest. Oh, yeah, the gist has already begun. It's Sorry, you caught us in the middle of a yeah. gist, but yeah. very interesting. I just, we'll let you know what yeah. our guest just said, but hey, tell them who we have. Pere Igbi, popularly known as Perez. Now, he's a Nigerian-American who served in the U.S. Army, <gasps> after which he got a bachelor's degree in nursing from the University of Texas and Arlington. Now, acting has been his passion since he started acting around 2005. And he's featured in several Hollywood and Nollywood movies. And he's going to be letting, in, letting us in on his journey. You can see I'm already stuttering because <laughs> this Sorry, gentleman is a stunning man. Yes, a lot yeah, of uh, the crew have been man. like, are you sure that Titi should be in this interview? I don't because, know, but yeah. <laughs> you look smashing. Even I'm very confident saying that. You, you, like, I mean, you took out time today to represent. Man. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. 
Man, oh. you've got perfect teeth. Yeah. Well, I can't help but notice it. <laughs> As in, I'm, I'm yeah. a regular guy, guys. I'm a very regular yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, same here. I'm a regular guy, too. But <laughs> well, you look smashing, I must say. Love yeah. it. Thank you. Welcome, Appreciate man. Good to have you here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. you're a nurse. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. Now, how long did you, did you spend behind the bed, um, on the bedside of, mm. of patients and then you decided, nah, yeah. this is not for me. <laughs> I want to be an actor. Mm. Well, okay, so uh, still a nurse. Mm. Still oh, a nurse. still yeah, nursing. Still yeah. a nurse. i um, been doing that now for about uh, two years, two, almost three. Mm. Okay. Um, mm. Yeah, and uh. I still want to do that, but acting really has just been... A passion, mm. the number one thing that I always have mm. wanted to do, all, mm. all the while. Yeah, yeah. So I, I have to ask about your time served, you know, yeah. um, and wow. In the army, by in the way. In the army, yes. Yeah. Uh, and in the, in the just, army, in the not, U.S. army. Not in the Sambisa Forest <laughs> Army. In the U.S. Army, what, yeah. is, is it like everything we see in the movies? Mm. Is, yeah. it, is that what it's like? Yeah, you absolutely. fry an egg on a tank. <laughs> no, you <laughs> don't fry an egg. <laughs> <laughs> you don't fry anything on the tank, but basically, of course, everything is in the movies mm -hmm. with yeah, the United yeah. States military. Yeah. Yeah. So you mean you've been shot more. at? Uh, sort of, kind of. Yeah, sort of, kind of. You want to tell us the details? Uh, are, we are, you allowed to? are you allowed to? <laughs> not, not in totality, okay. but okay. yeah. So you can, I can discuss some of it, okay. like the training aspect okay. and all of that, what okay. I have to go through, training mm. and... Um, the different things that happened and all of that mm -hmm. stuff, yeah. You weren't in Afghanistan, were you? No, I wasn't. I didn't go to Afghanistan. Okay, God. so wh where, did you, where did you go? Where did you go? Um, Iraq. Iraq, mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yeah. So, um, you know, there's a lot that happens after people come out of um, war-torn areas P like that. PTSD. You know, let's, let's talk about how you were able to, you know, stabilize when you got back home. Well, first of all, I had my faith because I'm mm. a Christian mm. and... Uh, I mean, having God by your side mm. just really makes a lot of things easier for you. Um, so getting out of the military, I already knew where I wanted to go, okay. what I wanted to do after that. But the military really wasn't my number one thing when I, mm. uh, in, the U in the United States. Mm. It was just a uh, means to an end. Mm. Yeah. I like to put it like yeah. that. No. Well, let's talk about movies now and you, okay. your acting gigs and everything. Yeah. You've done Nollywood, you've also done Hollywood. Right, right. Is well. there a big difference? <laughs> yeah. What's okay. the big difference? Okay, what's the challenge? Well, uh, it's usually in the uh, production side mm. and it's really different being on set on a Hollywood film where you have uh, the way they cater to yeah. the, the actors. Mm. And the process getting there too, it's actually way different than Nollywood. But I mean, Nollywood is actually getting there really fast. Okay. Yeah. okay. You, you seem like you could have. And of course, yeah. the money. Yeah, I was going to say, you seem like you could have made a lot of money in Hollywood. So why did you choose to come back well, to Nollywood? Okay, Nigeria so and do Nollywood? now, uh, well, I haven't really necessarily made a lot of money in Hollywood. Oh, yeah, and you look like this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It wasn't going to hey, be like when you really make They say looking good is good business. So, uh, yeah. hey, come on now. Okay. You got to look good. <laughs> But yeah, I haven't necessarily made a lot of money in Hollywood. Mm. I've just been in a few mm. Hollywood films. Okay. Um, recently, the one we shot um, mm. with uh, Clifton Powell okay. and Jennifer Freeman mm. from My Wife and Kids. Mm. Mm. Um, mm. You probably know Clifton Powell from a whole lot of... Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Mm. yeah. You know what so I just thought? What? what? I think you'll make a perfect Captain America for Nigeria. What? Wow. Captain yeah, America. You, tell him. Uh, the, you'll make a great okay, Captain America. Okay, so Nigeria. speaking of Captain America, he right. has a stunning body. Right. Oh, and, and so do you, sir. We've seen pictures, a lot of them. I have. There is a picture. There's a picture where there just seems to be a very nice six pack. In the, you know, everybody can see it, but we can't see it here. Can we? Can, uh, yeah, you know, can you show us? <laughs> It's still there. It's still there. It's still there. Let's see. Should I take it on my yes, team? Wait, 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> would you, would you, what? I'm, I'm taking it. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. You're stop. getting a bit too carried away. No, 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 no. You've been talking about how good this guy looks. I just want to see more. But, um, but really, really, uh, it's great to have you here. Great yeah. to have you home. Thank but you. for you, what's the best part of being, of being home? The best <laughs> part of being home is the food. Oh. I love to eat. Are you serious? It's nothing like what you have back, even though you have a lot of Nigerian restaurants and yeah. 
-hmm. this is back. It's nothing like what you have back at mm -hmm. home. Uh, you came to the right show then. Oh, yes, yeah. oh, we've yeah. got something cooking. Yes, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I also remember, that. I read about you being a business correspondent for TV as well. So yeah. there's a lot of, I mean, you've, got, yeah. you've got so much going on. You've got yeah. movies, Man, you've got business geez. TV. Yes. Uh, you, you're, you're, Spice TV as well. Wow. You're in the army, you're a yeah. nurse. Ah, a lot. Ah. lot. It's too much. Yeah. I mean, so how was that um, being a, a business? For business, yeah, yeah. For business TV, I was a newscaster. Worked mm -hmm. with uh, it's called Business Television, okay. owned by um, um, Tajuddin, mm -hmm. of course. Great Taj. Great Taj. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was fun. Those were fun times, fun days. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it, it was very interesting. Going out, reporting stories, mm -hmm. and coming back and reading the news and reporting about the. Economy and all yeah, of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but if you had the opportunity to go back into it, would you go back into that? I would go back. You would? I would. Really? I just love being. I just loved it. Yeah. It was. It was fun to do. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, just sitting down there, just reading a script and <laughs> speaking a little British accent. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that came from nowhere. All right. So. Um, what will be your ideal mm. Nigerian movie to mm. star in? Mm. What I'm asking is, what is that role you are really looking forward to with the right production crew, mm. the right script, the right personality to play? What would that be? The right production crew, I would really love to work with Mo. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, because mm. I've seen her work and mm. um, I've been following her work. It's amazing. She's, uh, she's phenomenal. And um, <laughs> the right character to play, you said? Yeah, yeah what would yeah. it be? Superhero, uh, anti-villain, a villain? I like Which the villain. Really? You do? I do like the villain. The bad the, guy? Yeah, the bad guy. <laughs> Something about the bad guy, man. Yeah? Yeah. The I, hero, Zero's just... Uh, oh, you, you're going to have to wrestle that from Ramsey Noah because he seems <laughs> to be doing really good at, I, with, I know, with being I know. the bad guy lately. In yeah. fact, mm -hmm. someone likened him to being our Nigerian, I don't agree, but um, yeah. um, Anthony Hopkin. Oh. But I'm like, you, you need a bit more years yeah. on your head to get there, <laughs> is what I'm saying. So, well, so. But he's a fantastic actor and recently yeah, he's he been is. playing those roles, mm -hmm. um, being a villain. Um, yeah. So, well, I guess... So we're going to be seeing you in another light mm -hmm. because, yes, Every Friday, it's gang day, and he's definitely going to be joining us for today's oh, game. You are going to want to see this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs>
Am I falling? Am I working? Is it falling? Is it? This one. I, All right then. I'm okay. happy that is over. How? How? <laughs> Jesus. Please, I, I heard I'm the holding your coming. microphone. Sorry, okay. I'm holding your microphone. You were shaking it quite well. I'm, I have <sighs> to say. Please put that in your pocket. All right. So um, you can turn around now. You can turn you, around. Wait, how many? Mazino. Huh? Let's count how many balls <sighs> Mazino has. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. You want to bring so, them out? Bring them out. We have one. Okay. We have two. Okay. We have three uh -huh. and four. All together, we have six balls. Four balls. So whose balls were this? This is all yours. <laughs> this all that's left. So let's see what's mine. left here. We have <laughs> one, <laughs> Still a two, lot. three, and, and four. No, it's a tie. Yo, man. And the shake-off went very well. I yes. had a lot of fun. We have to sit down, please. Yes, you do? You have to I'm sit out down. of breath. Really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Thank you was. so much for being so such you, a great you, sport. You work out, don't you? Yeah. yeah. And I still managed to yeah, draw with you. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> but you didn't feel anything coming out of. Yeah. You think it's funny now <laughs> until you see the replay. Yeah, the replay. Trust gonna... me, you're not gonna like yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks I'm so used much to it by now. <laughs> for joining us, though. Uh, but don't worry, all that shaking was not in vain, yeah. because we have an amazing chef, uh, Chef Ella, mm -hmm. is on is uh, standing by, rather, to give you an amazing meal. A you treat. said you love Nigerian meals, right? I do, I do love Yeah, so let's take a quick break, and uh, we'll be back. <laughs> now, if you're just tuning in, it's been an amazing show. You missed quite a bit. You need to go on YouTube and check still out what you missed. trying to catch my breath. Yeah, we still have our guest for this Friday, Perez. Yeah. And uh, it's about time for us to take you to the kitchen. Absolutely, can't wait. You I'm can't hungry. wait? Yeah, <laughs> All right, I have a feeling the meal is already set and ready okay. for you. We have Chef Ella All right. uh, standing by. Okay. Ooh, that looks good. All right, please take a seat. Thank you. Yeah. Chef Ella. Hi. I'm back. I'm glad to have you back. All right. So uh, what I have for you, sir, is um, a stir-fried potato meal. Okay. That, like I told, I created to trick my nephews and nieces into eating vegetables. Oh, so wow, I that's hope you brilliant. like your vegetables. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. All I right. Love it. So Chef Ella is going to give you. A nice serving. It looks so colorful, don't you? Yes. yes. The idea is the color, the protein, mm. yeah. the flavor. Very healthy too. Yes. And right. you have 12 different vegetables right okay. on here. Okay. Fantastic. So bon appetit. Please okay. have a taste and tell us what you think. So I have to tell you guys what I really think. Yes. After eating all of it or just some piss? Uh, don't hold anything back. We can take it. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Mm. So what do you think? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I mean, can I have the whole bowl? Ah, Gladly. Okay. All right. Then. I hope it's really good. Really, thank you. Thank Very you so good. Much. Thank you. Thank it's you. a low-budget um, meal. Mm -hmm. It's not going to break the bank. Mm -hmm. Like, guess. I don't want to tell you to guess how much I need this. Okay. But uh, I don't want to put some food people out of business. Okay. Right? <laughs> so let me just be silent. But it's really a low-budget meal. Okay. And once things are, think, most of the things here are seasonal. Once they are in season, yeah. you can keep them going and keep the food. Oh, wow. Mike is standing by. It's nice Valentine's dish for all of you. Very yeah. nice, well. <laughs> just have a happy Valentine's dish. Very yeah. nice, well. 12 veggies, you said. 12. Yes. 12. Mm -hmm. 12 different vegetables. Wow. That's nice. That's yeah. nice. So right now, I'm the one 
receiving all Mike's gifts on his behalf so I can help transport them in a truck I have specially prepared <laughs> for all of you that love it's like Mike. like you're going to be getting a lot to, of gifts. You know, send his gifts to him. Whoa, whoa. I might take a commission. Yeah, wait a minute. Minute. <laughs> <laughs> because we know that Valentine's Day is this weekend. We're wishing yep. you, all of you, happy Valentine's Day in happy advance. Day. And uh, of course, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. It was, it was an honor. Thank you, Chef thank you. Ella. All right. Yeah. All right. See you guys on Monday, Mazzino, definitely. Uh, mm -hmm. You want to wish them, you, want, you had something to say about Valentine. You didn't get to say it. Yeah, just don't spend too much, okay? If he buys you flowers, give him grass. Uh, <laughs> how did he say that? That was not what he wanted to say, but yeah, he said it. <laughs> what type of grass? Anyhow, happy Bye. Valentine's in advance. Happy Valentine's to everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.